Hey guys, my name is Tanzil and welcome back to my channel. Now in this video, we are going to see how to fix the no internet problem of Mac OS 12 virtual machine. So I have installed Mac OS 12 Monterey on VMware Workstation 16 player. And right after the installation, I have installed the VMware tools also. But still the internet is not working. So let's see how we can fix that. Now if you click here on the Wi-Fi icon, you can see the Wi-Fi is on but still it's not connected. And if you click on the control center also, you can see the Wi-Fi is not connected. And then let's click on the Apple icon. And then click on System Preferences. Then from here click on Network. Now if you observe then it says the status is connected and we are using DHCP but the IP address that it has does not belong to my host computer's network and uh, on the left side it's written Ethernet and self-assigned IP. So let's just close this network and uh, let's shut down the virtual machine. And uh, now to fix this problem, what we have to do is to open up the VMX file or the virtual machine configuration file. So just open up the folder in which you have created your virtual machine. By default, the folder is virtual machines, which is under documents. So I'll just open it up and then it's Mac OS 12. Now the fourth file that is Mac OS 12 which is a VMware virtual machine configuration file and it has the extension VMX. We have to open up this file. So just right click on it and then open with and then finally click on notepad. If notepad is not displayed as a option here then you will have to click on choose another app and then in the next window you will have to select notepad and then open up the file. Alright now after you have opened up this file. You have to look up for this property that says Ethernet 0 dot virtual dev equals E1000 E which is under double quotes. So you will have to look up for this one or in simple words you can just look up for E1000 E and if you are still having trouble finding it then just click on edit in the menu bar and then click on find. From here you can just write E1000 E and look it up and then its location will be found and after you have found this property now what we have to do is to change e1000e to something else and that something else is vmx net 3 so we have to change this e1000e to vmx net 3 all right once you have changed the value of the property you can just save this file and then close it. After closing it, you can start your workstation. Alright. Now once your workstation is started, just click on Apple icon and then click on System Preferences. And then from here, click on Network. And now you can see that the status of Ethernet is connected and not self-assigned IP as it was before. And yeah, it is using DHCP that is totally fine. Now the IP address that it's showing belongs to my network. So I think the Internet will work fine now. So let's test it. Open your Safari browser. And then try to open any website. And you can see the website loads properly. So which means the internet is working now. So we have fixed the problem in which there was no internet in Mac OS right after the installation in the VMware Workstation 16 player. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching.